I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Wednesday, December 15th, our reading is from Isaiah, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 9. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the weak, for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall stay, stay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the girdle of his waist, and faithfulness the girdle of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall die down with the kid, and the calf and the lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall feed, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The sucking child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in, my, in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters covered the sea. The word of the Lord. Live in hope. It's clear from this Isaiah text that God promises completely different standards under new rule when the shoot comes from the stem of Jesse. A new order, stability, peace. The spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. This is the same message we hear from Mary and her Magnificent, the powerful brought down and the lowly lifted up. When I hear promises from politicians, no matter what side they're on or what office they seek, I turn a deaf ear. I think, yeah, 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 I've heard all this before. I have come to expect, rightly or not, that most say what they think we need to hear, so I don't hold out much hope for real change. Sadly, I have become suspicious and distrustful. God's promises are different. God is always faithful. God delivers, us, delivers on promises. We can live in the hope that new rules apply, and we can do our part to help bring this about our prayer. Faithful God, may we be part of bringing your promises to life through your Son, Jesus. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.